Welcome back. Today is Pusherad Day. A little bit uh, longer of a delay than I expected because, so as you can see here, I've got two different um, boxes that have push rods in them. Anybody that's familiar with these engines can probably already guess why I have two. And this was my mistake. So basically what I did, um, I looked around all the typical places that I usually go for parts. Nobody had the push rod style that I needed for this particular engine. Um, like I showed before, this is the type that has the cup on one end, ball on the other. This is specific to these, um, what can they call them, welded style rockers. Now, there's another style that has the ball on both ends, and that's if you have the stamped style or boat style rockers, as you typically hear them called. I wasn't really paying very good attention. I went on Rock Auto and looked up for 71, 12, 10 with 345, and they listed these push rods. Um, had to get four of them. But it was really cheap. It was like six bucks or something for the box. So they're like a dollar fifty a piece. My problem was this I didn't notice the little note that said for stamp style rockers. I just assumed that since I was looking for a 71, that the 71 would have that style of rocker and that that'd be the right one. Well it's not. These are the Melling MPR 201s. These are the ball style on both ends like that not a huge deal like I mentioned before that truck right there has the stamp style rockers never know can always use those down the road so now this is what's really blows my mind is start trying to find the actual right style push rod, which for reference, it's the MPR200. Check this out. It says cup on one end, ball on the other. That's what I need. Now, when I went to go to find this, again, you know, like I mentioned, O'Reilly's is usually the first place I go. Um, they didn't have anything. Um, look back on Rock Auto, and um, they didn't have anything other than what I already got from them. So I went and I checked on some of the uh, the Lightline dealers that I like to use for parts, and one of them did have these this particular style. You could buy them. By the piece, they were, I don't know, I want to say like 12 bucks or something each. Uh, the problem was shipping was like 20 bucks. And I don't mind spending a couple bucks extra buying parts from the Lightline Scout dealers, IH dealers. Um, I'll do it any day of the week. If it's a few bucks more than say like O'Reilly's. Um, just because I want people that are helping keep these vehicles running to stay in business. But when the shipping is that high or something like this, I'm like, ah, I don't know. I want to look around. Believe it or not, I never would have thought this would happen. I went to AutoZone's website, looked, lo and behold, <laughs> they have the push rod sell them each and um, it was about the same price I think it was like nine dollars and expedited priority shipping which is default I didn't even ask for it uh, $6.99 so for like fifteen sixteen dollars I got this thing in a day and a half so Sometimes you find stuff in places you'd never think you'd find it. Anyway, so I'm going to work. I'm going to get this put back in because I really want to hear how this thing runs with all the push rods in it. 
and um, we'll see what we have. Hopefully it runs good. The new push rod is in. I was able to get that lifter back in that hole down there. It wasn't easy. It took a while, but it's in. New push rod. I, I loosened these up just so I could lift that up a little bit. It didn't take much. Then retorque these bolts. 25 foot pounds. That's what I like to put them at. You see some discrepancies when you look around as to what they're supposed to be too, but I wouldn't do them too tight. Uh, put the valve cover back on this. We'll see what she sounds like. I've, I've turned this over by hand, watching to make sure all these move like they're supposed to. All right, everything back together. Should go grab a battery. See what she sounds like. There we go. I pull a little choke on it. It's a little cool out tonight. Was obviously a lot better. It did smoke a lot. I filled the garage up with smoke. So I don't know if it's just burning off a lot of crap in that cylinder or what, but um, man, it definitely ran a lot better. So we'll have to, got the Thanksgiving break coming up. So probably what I'll do is get it out of the garage and run it, see if we can get it to quit smoking. Hopefully, it just does it for a few minutes. And I uh, also need to see how my brakes work. I have pedal, so I think they're going to be fine, but it's so tight in here in the garage, I can't really test it. So, But uh, definitely sounds better. Um, now we'll see what happens with the smoke issue. 